Morning everybody, I'm Dr. Max. Welcome to my basement. I filmed a nice uh, Instagram live the other day. Uh, working out, showing you some workout tips. I have a background as a personal trainer. I've been filming my live workouts in the mornings. And one of the things that we went over is how to do a nice stretch for your neck. So unfortunately that live didn't save onto my story and it crashed. So let me just film it as a real post. We'll post it up there. Anybody wants to check it out, I would highly recommend doing this stretch throughout the day. So most people are working from home these days, working remotely. If you don't have a proper workstation set up, meaning like if you're not in an office or have like an office in your house or a guest room that you converted into your office. Most people are just sitting on the couch with their laptops, you know, hunched over all day long like this with terrible posture, or they're sitting on the bed working on the laptop. That's very bad for your neck, very bad, and your back, because there's no support, okay? Plus you're hunching over and slouching all day long. So what I want you to, do during the day is to just really become more conscious of your posture. If you look at my head from the side, it, my ear should be lined up over the shoulder. That's proper posture. I'm not even forcing it. That's just how my posture is. I've retrained it. But most of my patients, they get younger and younger. I mean, I have patients, my average patient's like 25, and they're all coming in with this slouched over hunching posture like you ever see those little old ladies with like a walker so i mean that's how it starts but like in the 20s now it's like we never used to see this stuff till like the 30s 40s now it's like early 20s everyone's got terrible posture from texting all the time and on the phone so now with working remotely and sitting on your bed all day long doing this you don't even realize you're doing it that's why in corporate america i usually recommend patients get um, stand-up desks. So if that's something uh, your company would possibly pay for, awesome. Um, back when everyone was working in the city, I usually just had to fill out a letter of medical necessity to get that approved for a patient. But research shows that sitting for 10 hours a day is very bad for your back. It's very bad for your discs. For every hour you work, you should get up. You should walk around a little bit. You should kind of decompress those discs because they get very compressed from sitting. But also if you're standing, when you're standing for your, um, to do work, you know, like this, and the, it's in front of you. I mean, if you're working in finance and you have multiple monitors, there are certain stand-up desks available that you can actually have multiple monitors and be standing too. So it has a setting that you can sit it down, like you don't have to stand all day long. People are like, I don't want to stand all day long. You don't have to stand all day long, but I would recommend standing for big projects that are like at least an hour long or whatever. You'll get used to it, plus it'll help your posture. Because when you're standing, you can't slouch. When you're sitting, you can slouch like this and not even realize that you're doing it. So look into getting a stand-up desk, you know, I always like that company Kangaroo. Check it out. Write Kangaroo Stand Up Desk on Google and uh, see uh, see their prices and stuff. I think they're pretty reasonable and it's a pretty quality desk. So if you don't have that option or that kind of space for your house and you're in a little apartment in New York City right now, you know, take your laptop, put it up on the kitchen counter, stand when you're doing your work. Don't sit on the couch. Don't sit in your bed when you work, like make that your, your workstation, standing up in the kitchen at the counter. So try that. And then periodically during the day, you need to stretch your neck out. You have to. It's too tight. This is called upper cross syndrome. It's where you have tight upper traps and you have tight levator scap muscles and you have weak rhomboids and then tight chest. So everything is just like muscle imbalances. That's what upper cross syndrome is and it can cause neck pain shoulder pain, headaches. Eventually you can wind up with compressed discs, bulging discs, herniated discs. You can get numbness in your arms. You can get tingly feeling in your hands, carpal tunnel syndrome. You know, just imagine waking up one day and your hands are numb and it doesn't come back. Can you imagine if your hands were just numb all the time? I mean, it'd be like a nightmare, right? So let's try to avoid that. So even if your neck doesn't hurt you, I would recommend doing these stretches on a regular basis, okay? So first, how to stretch the upper trap. That's this muscle that gets very stiff and tight on people. Put one hand on the side you're stretching, right on your shoulder. Other hand on the side of your head, okay? 
Turn your head toward the side you're stretching. Pull it forward and away. So you're gonna hold this stretch just like that for a nice 30 seconds to a minute. Breathe. Now when you breathe, you might even feel it lengthen. Look. See, I could feel it going down even more. Don't bounce with it. Don't try to pull it more than it needs to go. It will release if you just hold a steady stretch. But if you don't feel it, make sure your head's pulled forward more and make sure you're looking toward the side you're stretching. Right now I'm stretching the left side. So I'm looking toward the left and that's my upper trapezius, okay? If you do that in the shower with hot water, hitting your neck while you're doing the stretch, it's even better. Do that for like 10 minutes, but switch off sides. Do like three sets of each. So the same thing with the other side. You're gonna go one, two, turn, and then separate it like that. <laughs> nice stretch, upper trapezius stretch. That muscle gets very, very stiff and tight, okay? And then you're gonna do the levator scap also. Same stretch, but just look the other way. So here's how you did upper trap, where you go away, looking toward and down. Levator scap, you're gonna look the other way, okay? Just like that, pull it. Upper trap, levator scap. Those are the two main muscles that get just contracted and real tight from working on a laptop all day long. In corporate America, not stretching, not having good posture. So let's really start to work on that. Let's just be conscious of bringing your chin back. Let's stop cracking your neck. I've made many videos about that. You can check it out on my YouTube channel. It said this ha bad habit could be damaging your spine so watch that video it's all about how terrible it is to crack your own neck like <clears throat> so let a chiropractor do that don't be popping your own back and neck so i'm dr max you can follow me on instagram at dr max nyc tune into my next instagram live probably do it friday morning this is when i usually do it monday wednesdays and fridays at eight I'm also doing um, Instagram lives for my coffee talks in the morning now. Next time is tomorrow. I'll be chatting it up. Anybody wants to stop in, probably around 8, have a cup of coffee with me on my step outside. We can chat, talk about whatever. And uh, that's it. I got a YouTube channel. There's a link in my bio. I got exercise videos in there on posture, healthy eating. My Instagram live this morning, we talked all about food sensitivity testing and vitamin testing and how to do elimination diet at home and how to kind of try cutting out dairy and gluten and see how that works for you. So unfortunately, once again, it didn't save. I'm not sure why these stories aren't saving, but um, I made a video about that a couple weeks ago. So it's a regular post on my Instagram. So I'm Dr. Max. Nice to see everybody and have a great day, my friends.